Alright guys, you're probably going to think I'm bonkers, it's minus seven. <laughs> I'm out here trying to get a bit more done. So we've got the the sort of horrible nasty bracket that came with the, the DRO. I'm going to use this for the Z-axis and that's probably the only one that I'm going to use. But I'm going to use it to clamp one of these bits of aluminium that I've just I've just put the two threaded holes into. You can see those there. So all I'm going to do now, you know, these slots aren't accurate, they're just cast. So I'm just going to scribe where those slots are and basically I'm just going to, I'm either going to pick these up on the mill or I might even just do it on the pillar drill. Just to put two tapped holes in into the aluminium plate. That should do, and all I'm using there it's a, a sustain punch that I've just ground to a sharp point. They're dead handy for scribing in awkward places. So, yeah, that's, I can see my scribe marks on there, that's no problem. See both of those pretty well. So, I'll probably just centre pop by eye two holes in the centre of there, and then we'll probably pop those in on the pillar drill and just tap them just to attach to that bracket. I've got my, um, my my bracket now fixed to my aluminium piece and this is going to sit onto this casting here that's actually on the head and the reason I went for this bracket in the end is because it's slotted it gives me a bit of lateral movement this way and also a little bit of movement this way should I need it to get things lined up so what we're going to do I've wound the head up as far as it will possibly go and I don't know whether you guys will be able to see this or not but on the scale itself on the reader in the center of the reader there's a center dot mark and on the scale casing there's another center dot mark and that's obviously end of travel so there's about an eight millimeters ish spare movement on this slide so what I've done is taken the head up as far as it will possibly go and I'm going to fit everything up in this position so that I know that I've got this eight millimeters of spare travel on this slide so that I can never run it into the end of the end of the travel. So what we need to do now is get this lined up in roughly the right position, mark my holes that I'm going to drill and drill a couple of holes in the casting, tap them out and get this block fitted to the to the head casting. So I'll bring you back when I'm doing a bit of that. Right guys, we've got the we've got the bracket and the first piece of the bridge fitted now to the mill. I've also taken off the 
the plastic holding piece if you want to call it that that holds the reader that held the reader in place for transit and I've taken some measurements and now I need to make the second piece of the bridge which I've already got the two holes in for the bridge piece to screw into so this piece is going to fit onto the back of the reader like this and so I've got to drill the, the pattern of four holes into this and I've also got to take I've been taking some measurements I need to take 10 millimeters of aluminium off this back face to get it to the right position and then I need to drill four clearance holes and counterbore them for the cap screws to fit this to the back of the reader and then the final piece of the jigsaw then is the last piece of aluminium that I'm going to need to drill and counterbore four holes in or I may even slot them actually so I've got a bit of play this way which will then obviously create the final part of the bridge to link all this together so I'll set the milling machine up we need to do some milling so I'll take the, the, the chuck out and put the collet chuck back in I'll try and do all the milling work together and then we'll switch back to the chuck for the drilling work I'll bring you back when we're doing that bit Alright guys, we've got this set up. We need 11 millimetres taken off here, so we're just going to do that now. Got rid of that. And just take that out and get that deburred. You'll see I've broken through into um, into some of my practice holes that I put in in the wrong place. It will not matter because it's in fresh air. This face, it's not doing anything. So, right, I'll just get that deburred and we'll come back, set back up, and put the the holes in the face. Right, guys. Well, we've got the milling chuck in the spindle. This is the bridge piece. So I'm just going to. We've got the centre of the edge finder in. We're just going to find the centre of this, pitch out either either side of centre, and I'm going to put myself two slots in, sorry, four slots in, and counterbore them at each end for the screws. I don't actually know where my finished position is going to be for the screw holes on this yet until I've got it all built up. So if I slot them, I've got the ability then to jiggle this around and, and make everything fit, hopefully. So we'll set that up now.
there's the first lot done guys I'll um I'll get the other four done to the same standard and then we'll come back with a bigger end mill for the counter ball slot that goes on top of it I'll bring you back when we're doing that bit alright guys apologies forgot to press record so <laughs> four slots in four counter balls in so that's the that's the bridge piece complete nothing more to do to that other than fit it just a bit of deburring obviously so what we're doing now is to get that out of the vise switch back we need to put the 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 other piece that's going to fit onto the back of the the, the reader head back up in the vise and drill a pattern of four holes in it uh, to fit to the back of the reader and then we should be in a position to assemble it all and hopefully complete it Right guys, I've got the last bit set up in the vise. I've just used the edge finder, same as what you've already seen. Found the back edge, wound into my first line where I'm going to be putting two holes in. So we're just going to drop two holes in this back edge and then we'll pitch over by the width and put another two holes in and they're all going to be clearance on an M4 cap head and counterboard for an M4 cap head and probably a washer. I'll have a look and see what size washers I've got. So we'll get on with that. There we go guys, that's got those four holes done. I'm just going to pop that in the pillar drill now rather than pitching around again just to quickly just countersink those four holes and then I'll bring you back when we're starting to put everything together. Alright guys, apologies I've done this off camera but we've fitted that that piece now with the four cap screws that you just seen me put the holes in for to the, to the reader unit itself and so that's everything in the right place now, apart from uh, I just need to move this down, get the bridge piece to go between these two bits and fit that and then set the, the gap between the reader unit and the scale itself. So and there's, there's so little room here that I'm, apologies I'm going to have to do that off camera because the tripod's kind of right up against the wall and right in the, <laughs> as you can see, right in the way so there's no way I can work in here with a camera so I'll, I'll do that off camera and I'll bring you back once I've got it fitted together and just show you how that looks. Right guys there we go that's got the um, the whole unit assembled now and I've set that to the half mil gap that it says that the, the reader unit needs to be set away from the scale. I've not checked that over its full length yet which is the next thing I'm going to do and then once I've done that the last job then is to slide the the guard down and, and fit the guard on so again I'll shift the camera out of the way do a bit of checking and then I'll bring you back once I've put the guard in place alright guys there we go that's got uh, that's got the full thing assembled now so got the got the guard on we've run it up down the full length of travel I've checked for spare travel top and bottom and we've got plenty of spare uh, probably about 10mm top and bottom before 
I, well 10 mil at the top and plenty at the bottom before I hit the end of the scale so that's all good I've checked my half mil gap up and down on the reader and I've been checking that with the feeler gauge and that's fine all the way up and down so yeah happy with that it's not the prettiest thing in the world this one using this bracket and just the way I've done this you know this bridge piece is slightly longer than it needed to be but I did that deliberately and slotted the holes deliberately just to make the actual assembly bit easier because trying to work in this little tiny confined space is hard enough so I've just tried to make my own life easy and you know it's not going on the mantelpiece this it's it's around the back of the mill and it's functional and it's doing exactly what it should do so which is sliding the reader unit up and down in the scale so more than happy with that that's been a learning curve this is the first one of these I've ever done obviously watched plenty of other people doing them but yeah happy we got there in the end tested my patience a few times this one as I can I can I can tell you snapped a couple of drills along the way and various other bits and pieces just because the working space is just so confined and it's just awkward trying to get to it so anyway that's all good it's all it's all in I, I don't know if it works yet because obviously I've not got the, the the readout unit out of the box and up on its stand yet but I'm going to assume that it works just for now and probably the next job I will do now before I do the x-axis and the y is fit the reader unit in place and then we'll test this axis out before we venture too deep into the other two axes just to check you know check everything's working okay and it's reading out as it should do so um, I hope that was uh, interesting it will join the many other hundreds of fitting a DRO to a machine <laughs> videos that are on YouTube but um, this is obviously my attempt at it so hope uh, hope you've enjoyed that and we'll join you very soon on another video when we'll be doing the next part of the install which as I say will be the readout unit or the um, or, or the readout unit and the X at start of the X axis so thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and we'll catch you all very soon